Welcome back to another episode of the Tennessee Titans franchise. Going to be handling preseason this episode up until the end of bye week, so that we can kick off regular season next week. Derek Henry. Hey coach, Ty J Spears is someone I can't wait to work with. I think he has all a high ceiling and I want to do what I can to help him reach it. What should I focus on? Uh, let's focus on the immediate impact. Let's focus on the present, try to make him as good as he can be right now. He's going to play a decent amount and we want to see him making an impact as soon as possible. That's cool that I have the option here. Derrick Henry says, sounds good. I'll pull him aside this week to go over some things and see what I can teach him. That's good. Very positive, especially since Derrick Henry only has a one year deal left. Something to think about. Good. All right. That was good. Let us do weekly strategy. And uh, let's see what has changed here. I don't think a lot. Uh, usually things that work, work. And uh, not a lot has changed here. Just not really necessary. The defensive game plan. Um, uh, let us defend the short pass probably. Or let, let's just work with what they suggest here. In preseason, player health. Uh, we're just going to be going with the full pads, of course. We are in preseason. Uh, player fatigue, um, it, those are the ways that you can manage this. Basically, full pads is always going to be more uh, more tiring, but you get more XP. Full uh, half pads is, um, is, of course, less tiring, but you get less experience. And here, uh, down here, you can choose if you want to get more XP to the starters, to both, or to the backups. And that's just the way that this thing is uh, balanced. So I think we're going to be going with the starters and a little bit for the uh, for the backup players. Um, next up, let's move on to the offensive game plan. We're going to be facing Tremaine Edmonds here. We're going to be going run inside. I like that a lot. I love run plays. And uh, here we go. We're going to be going for the backups for the QB, of course. I want to see Malik Willis and Will Levis getting as much experience as they can. The game plan goal, you can choose something here, you, you, you will get rewards. Um, and uh, you can also choose the focus players here on this screen. Um, choosing these here um, depends what, what you want to reach, um, uh, what you want to achieve. These are always going to be changing depending on uh, the game, is what I read. So we will uh, get, uh, let's try and get one interception, or let's try and get those 100 rushing yards. 200 plus rushing yards for uh, full six points, three points if we get half that. Peter Skoronsky, Taichi Spears, and Will Levis. And what's new here is you can do uh, mini games. Uh, I, I expect those to be very similar <laughs> to uh, to be uh, uh, similar to the, uh, what was it, uh, training camp or something like that. I think Taichi Spears, I want to see what he can do. I want to get Peter Skoronsky better. And Will Levis, of course, needs to improve as well. Just gonna be choosing this mini game here to uh yeah uh, this is exactly the um this is exactly what i was expecting you can sort of go for this and improve some more uh on on those focus players uh if you want to do that um depending on which players you have selected so target passing target passing on the move then uh, yeah, we're not going to be doing that. All right, let's start training. All right, so training has been simulated. I will not be showing you these training results uh, in the regular episodes. Why? Well, simply because it's not that exciting. Um, it is split between defense and offense. Of course, you can see the uh, experience points that we got or the injuries that we did pick up. Um, I will only be showing you these um, if we pick up an injury and immediately the Andrew Hopkins wide receiver number one has picked up an injury a back strain so we are not going to be having our wide receiver number one around well, that might turn out to be a problem but maybe not so let's just see what happens um he was a surprise anyways so I'm not really going to be too bothered about that one upgrading players is something that I love to do and I will be doing that myself and here we go we've got these four players here we're going to be getting some points uh, for Aziz al Shayer, So let's upgrade that immediately. Field General is upgraded to 78 now. We've got Jack Gibbons. Uh, let's also get him some Field General points at mid linebacker. And basically in this first season, I will be 
just uh, developing players, seeing who gets better, who is useful. And uh, I think the rebuild will start after this season, um, when we will have to cut some players, when we will really have some uh, cap space. We don't have that many draft picks anyways, um, so we will have to focus on the free agents as well. Gonna have to work with what we can here. But for now, I'm pretty excited to kick this off now. The first game that I'm going to be playing gameplay in Madden 24 here. Preseason game against the Chicago Bears. So here we go. We are at Soldier Field. And this is preseason football, as you all know. Ryan Tannehill. Oh, Justin Fields facing off here. Oh, this is beautiful. I love those pre-game uh, graphics here. Derrick Henry dusting himself off. DJ Moore. I didn't check out the opposing team. Oh well. Gonna do that in the real season then. And here we go. Chicago Bears on the field in their home uniforms. Looking good. Looking good. Love the presentation as well. I think I will have to make a few adjustments in terms of the noise levels i think i will be pushing down some of those audio settings man his cap is really going wild there you go justin fields and some starting animations here and we're going to be starting the game now four minutes 22 we are going to be starting here let's try and get a rhythm going here inside zone left hand side derrick henry ryan Tannehill. This is our first team. This is our first team. And Derrick Henry going forward here for five yards. Good run, good pickup. Each Madden does feel a little different, so I always have to sort of adjust to the way it feels to be, you know, and we're pretty hard hit. But we get a first down. Tremaine Edmonds immediately facing off. Let's see if we can get some passes going. Quick slants, Chris Moore, or Traylon Burks. We've got Wesco as a fallback option. Oh dear. That might have gone terribly wrong. Half-back draw right hand side. Derrick Henry. Let's go. Oh dear. Oh, dear. oh this is not going to work. <laughs> the Bears defense rush our offensive line and we crumble pretty quickly. Let's try the gun verticals here. Looking for Kyle Phillips. On the short route. Let's get a feel for those players here. Ooh, he's fast. I like the speed here. I like the speed. Also, I like the uniforms that the Titans have here. And what is it? Fourth and three. So we didn't pick up that first down. <clears throat> Let's go with the dagger. Let's be aggressive from the get-go, right? It's a preseason game, so... Oh, dear. Oh dear. Couldn't catch it. I wonder why. Felt like we were free. But okay. Here we go. Let's go halfback zone week. Left hand side run Derrick Henry. Let's, let's try an audible here, shall we? I feel like we have to always go for the safest options um, in the future, especially in that first season, as we might have a lot of problems here <laughs> when, when some of those dudes really come pressuring us. Left hand side, Derrick Henry. Off we go. That's a lot of space to run into, and Derrick Henry, and we really move away from everybody here. Found a route, Tremaine Edmonds catches up towards the end of the field here. And Derrick Henry does a dance. Interesting. Interesting. 
the feel is very difficult um, to describe when the player runs he's not really that speedy um, running backs felt way more I don't know not responsive but just snappy all right we've got Will Levis on the field Taichi Spears is the running back can we get him his first touchdown yes we can yes we actually can well done Taichi Spears first touchdown for the rookie here oh, that was well done next up our defense holds him seven versus seven Hassan Haskins let's go gonna try out all the players here I want to be as open as I can in terms of starters oh no is that an injury right. it was 10 yards though so I still have to find a sweet spot in terms of the volume that was great man very nice pass by Levis Dowell Number 14 with a good pickup. Good catch. We move ahead. Like the stance. Tight end angle. Josh Wiley. <laughs> or McMath. Okay, this is horrible. <laughs> this is really bad. When you look at a team, there are parts like this that you don't really want to see. I was out of reach. A little bit overthrown here. Titans draft less. Peter Skoronsky first round. Will Levis. Ty J Spears third round. Nice. And Ty J Spears feels, I don't know, way quicker and a little bit more flexible than Derrick Henry does. Is that weird? I don't know. It's mesh ball time. Third and five. We need that. We need that first down. We've got McMath. I'm going to be also looking at Dowell. Oh, ooh, that was inaccurate. Fourth and five. We're going to punt Ryan Stonehouse. Ryan Stonehouse, no wind in here. Ooh, very inaccurate. Not a good one. I'm definitely going to go into the end zone drop here. Let's go. Defense is as solid as can be, I would say. Corner strike, next up. Still Levis on the ball here. Let's try with double slants. Ekine, Dowell, McMath. I think Westbrook Ekine is probably my best bet here. Secure catch. Secure catch. That worked. But it's scary stuff, I tell you. The Bears, I think, have really had a good offseason. Really improved very, very well. The uh, Titans. I don't know. <laughs> Not really sure yet. They've got solid pieces in there, but are they really that well set? I wouldn't say so. But here we go. We're moving along. 50 seconds still on the clock here. EA has changed up the... Uh, the design up top a little bit. I really like that. 45 seconds still on the play. Let's go with verticals. 30 seconds still in this first half. I went for five minute. Um... Oh dear. That was just swatted away by number 23. It's called there. A lot of practice squad players here. <laughs> a lot of players here that will never see the light of day let's go with that one oh, I forgot nice being oh Jesus I had to get it away there was a sack coming and I didn't want to feel that one third and ten looking for McMath looking for Wild Westbrook Ekine There we go. That's is nice, but there's a flag. All right, gonna take it. We are, of course, going to accept this because why ever wouldn't we? There we go. Gonna be looking for Wiley. 
81 on the left hand side there fighting for yards we're at the one yard line let's call a quick timeout here uh, this is actually feeling pretty good let's go for a field goal and i don't see my aim stick oh this is not great yikes oh my lord that was almost off it was either that or a go for the touchdown didn't feel like that would have been in my best interests will levy still playing here i think we're gonna give malik willis a go off we go tj spears can we go around no nope, we cannot but we pick up a first there and that was good that was good zone week left hand side and off we go Ooh, stopped here number 91 solid stop here on the young rookie second and eight let's try a halfback guy so this is also going along with our strategy and do i like any of these actually not let's try this one look stick it down nine seconds eight seconds seven seconds there we go that's westco our <laughs> tight end that is helping out as a fullback it's actually a setup that I can work with. Don't even feel too bad about that one. Play extra deep cross. Let's go with this one. Or not. Let's go with this. Let's see if we can roll out here and get uh, Nick Westbrook Ekine. Nice. Good pick. Will Levis. Moves and moves and moves. Gets the ball up six yards let's go the quick base here tai chi spears let's push over the line good stop here by the chicago bears who are looking more than ready for anything we're throwing at them that will whisper key kind while and mcmath None of these names really make me feel too good. And that ball was dropped. Which is unfortunate, but it is realistic. This is also what my sliders do. They do adjust for that. It is not easy catching one of those balls. It is not easy. And everybody who tells you something different... Ah, oh, slapped away. I was hoping for number 13 to get that. Stevenson, I think that's Tyreek Stevenson, got the ball under control and got that done. All right, Levis, third and ten. Can we get the ball to? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Not liking any of these options. Fourth and one. Probably my best one. Cool, getting this one here done. Ninety-four will. Two boys the left let's go with an iso tai j spears and we get across the line very positive like that we keep in control of the ball we keep the clock running ah it got stuck on the player jesus man what was number 75 doing Noah Sula breaking through second and eight hmm let's go with the mesh spot try this one here one player left one player right what is my backup hmm. number 81 should move one step ahead didn't do that rather unfortunate Cole Komet was seen before that was the tight end for the Bears 
Ah, and they got the percentage back. Oh, that is awesome. Dow a little bit tired here. Hmm. So we do get forward, but it's fourth and five. It's not a first down. And we're going to go with another field goal. Why don't we have one of those marker thingies? Hmm. But we score. Tennessee Titans. 16 versus... Uh, no, 13 versus 7. Defense. Can't hold them. Halfback zone weak. It's going to be Levis again. Third quarter. Uh, fourth quarter, we will be now moving towards uh, Malik Willis. I want to see what he can do. Oh, we got Taiji Spears. Man, that offensive line. It's not going to do as many favors. I can tell you that one. All right, Malik Willis. Scrambling type QB now. Maybe move out a little bit more. Use the legs. Raven Wesco. Nice. And he gets forward. It doesn't look like it. But he's more solid than he, than he might be projected. This is a ball drop. And yeah, this is preseason time, so these things just happen because he play with the worst of the worst. And yet, it does bum me out a little bit. I'd really like to get games won. There we go. This is Spears halfback draw left hand side. Let us try. the play action slide Westbrook he can mm. poor accuracy overthrown we have to punt we're gonna punt far right corner uh, inaccurate the downward slope is super quick uh, and it drops way beyond And it's a tie. Gee. Things getting exciting immediately. Momentum stacked against us. We are the away team, of course. A hard hit here. Ball knocked away. Caleb Shudak. We would have to get closer and closer. Let's try the four verticals. AJ Spears. Gonna be my target. For Malik Willis here. Nice. Very nice. Drag back. Drag back from the outside. Let's go with the gun flood. Left hand side run. Dowell. Whisper E kind. Dowell actually did well. On the cash here. Second and four. Uh, is that an injury? Doesn't really show it. I'm not really trusting the far throw, so I'm just inching forward. Oh, Jesus Christ. We have two minutes on the plate lock. Damn it, I didn't see that. Hmm. Can we try the field goal from this distance now? Probably not gonna work. Can we try... Let's try the Titans bench here. Man, that's on me. Didn't really watch the clock there. And that is overthrown. So there we go. That is the end of the game. Derrick Henry. Hey, coach. It was a good week working with Ty J. Spears. Really felt like he improved each day. It's definitely time well spent. Hmm. Awesome work. Appreciate you taking the time to do that. That's what leaders do. And you might even have a future in coaching. It'd be fun if players sort of retired and then 
tiered as coaches, right? 4,500 XP, 4 Taiji Spears, that is... Well, that's pretty good. The Andrew Hopkins coach. I know you're frustrated with Trilla Burks. You're... <laughs> Dude couldn't hang on to anything last game, but don't give up on him yet. I think with a little help, he could be really good. Is there any specific area you want him to improve in? Uh, yes, I want to have him catch in traffic. Catching is the most fundamental part of being a receiver. If you could improve his ability to come down with the ball, that would be a huge step in the right direction. Got it. I'll see what I'll do. Trellenbergs receives two catch and traffic. Oh, that was good. All right, there's the trickiest time now. We need to cut 21 players. Um, it is the bye week ahead of the uh, first week of the regular season where we'll be playing the Saints. So let's just take a look here at the uh, players that we might cut. But I will be going about this in this view here, Manage Roster. And we're going to be doing this here. Um, because I always want to see uh, where <laughs> where and how many players I have. So we've got these three here. I'd love to cut Ryan Tannehill, but we have a huge penalty on this one, so I can't do that. I don't know why, but I just don't really think that he's that valuable to the team um, in the running back room. Uh, Julius Chestnut, uh, Hassan Haskins. I feel like Jonathan Ward is the first player that we're going to be cutting. Can we just release him? Will free. Are you sure? Yes. Good. All right. So one player has been freed. Next up, we're going to be moving Julius Chestnut into the practice squad if we can. And there we go. That is good. Next up, fullback. We have none wide receivers. DeAndre Hopkins, Traylon Burks, Chris Moore, Kyle Phillips, Westbrook Ekine, Colton Dowell. I don't think that he was that horrible. I especially love the speed that he has, 91 and 91. The agility also pretty good. Um, Racy McMath didn't really convince me. Mason Kinsey, 25, 64. Yeah, sorry, my man. And Reggie Robertson at 62. That's just way too low to even warrant the practice squad. So I'm going to leave one, two, three, four, and five. And uh, Colton Dowell will be the first player that I'm going to be moving on to the practice squad here and move to practice squad. There we go. Who else? Uh, Racy uh, McMath, 24-64. Oh, this is rough, man, but there we go. Let's move him. Um, players that will be cut. Mason Kinsey and Reggie Robertson. I really don't even see a future for this dude with us. I don't know how he would even grow uh, to become a contender here for us. Yes, he's quick, but there's just so many, so many parts um, of his play that are really a problem. I don't want to release a rookie, but uh, players like these, Mason Kinsey, dude, what is that even? I don't even know, man. Spectacular catch, uh, catch and traffic. It's not even better than some of the higher rated, of uh, not higher rated, but those players that are higher up. So I'm going to release this dude as well. There we go. Goodbye, Mason Kinsey. Next up, tight end. Jesus, we've got a few here. All right, Josh Wiley. Easy cut, Morgan Cox. Yes, he does have the mentor tag, but he's really absolutely unusable. Ooh, but he will incur a penalty. All right, let's leave this one then. It's not a big penalty though, but still. Elise Mac, I think we can safely say that you've got no future. Kaboom, there we go. Thanks for that. George Wiley, Kevin Raider, 28 and 57. This is an insult, actually. <laughs> yeah, 1.1 million cap room, so at least this is good for something. We're clearing a little bit of space here. Four tight ends, still a lot. Life tackles two. That works for me. Um, Daniel Brunskill, John Liglu. Yeah, what do we even do with a player like this? Uh, the penalty for Brunskill would be higher, so we're going to be cutting John Liglu. Don't think that he will ever be uh, very helpful for us. I like the overlay, by the way. At center, uh, same thing here. Looking at Corey Levin or James MP. Oh, this is a tricky one, but to be honest, I'm just looking at strength 84. 
awareness. I think James MP has to go. Just not really seeing any positives here. So goodbye. Right guard Dylan Redon, stand for to Marco Jones. I can work with that, but Jordan Ruiz, man. This is rough. This is really rough. Goodbye, my man. Number 70 is going to be open. Right tackle, Nicholas Petit Ferrer. We've got John Ojuku and Andrew Repsic. I think I can put him onto the practice squad. Feel like that might even improve him a little bit. Left edge, we've got two players. Right edge, two players. D tackles, Tiertart, Tyler Sheldon, Curtis Brooks, JM Peavy. I think Curtis Brooks might be the one to go. Uh, Jaden Peavy just looks a little bit better. Plus the dude has a face. And sometimes it's just the little things. Left has a linebacker. Iron Key, Rashad Weaver, Zach McLeod. <laughs> it's a funny name right there. But I don't think that... Uh, I really have that much of a need for him. Middle linebackers, is he Salshir, Ben Neiman, Monty Rice? Now all of these are good, but Luke Gifford is horrible. So Luke Gifford will be released here. Incur a penalty of 990. Restructure contract, what does that do? 90k cap space this season, 80k will be added per year to final. Uh, for it, estimated cap after restructure. All right, that is a no. Just gonna release him. Just gonna take that penalty. Jack Gibbons. I'm really unsure about these here, but I really like this one more. Let's put Jack Gibbons into the practice squad. There we go. Four mid linebackers. All right, cornerbacks. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Trey Avery. Certainly not my man. These are just unplay uh, uh, unusable players. I don't even know why they're in the game. I mean, I know why they're in the game, but it's just really... I don't think anybody will be using these. Eric Garrett, this is a rookie. Chris Jackson, 25-69. Um, I think I will be going with... Chris Jackson. Just take a look at the ratings here. Oh, sluggish. Very sluggish. And I'm PS5 here, though, so... Tell you what, I'm gonna leave him, but I will be moving Garrard into the practice squad. Let's just try and get him some more uh, experience over there. That's six right there. I feel like I will have to cut some more players. Tyreek Jones, uh, Mike Brown, off to the practice squad with you, first of all, because you've got no face. Second of all, I want to give, uh, I want to give uh, Tariki Jones here a shot at this. A money hooker, Josh Thompson, Shaheem Carter, Matthew Jackson. So Matthew Jackson, the rookie, will get moved to the practice squad. This is the number one, Shaheem Carter. You will be cut. I just really don't see the use in keeping you around. I've got two better strong safeties right there. Kicker Caleb Shudak or Trey Wolf. Both are really horrible in terms of accuracy. We just saw that before. Um, age might be on uh, the side of Trey Wolf. So I'll be cutting Caleb Shudak here. Shudak or Shudak or I don't even know how to pronounce him. I'm not even gonna learn that one. Let's release you, my man. All right, so that was one kicker gone. We've got one punter left. Draft picks, practice squad. Let's see, do we have to cut some more? Or are we good? Kaboom. Yeah, now we're good. This is fine. 52 out of 53 players, 77, 79, 79. You see that the defense went down. Um, and that is only because we cut some of those horrible players. Uh, we do have an injury, so let's check this one out here. 
Uh, what is it here? Oh, man, Tai Chi Spears with a broken collarbone. Five weeks out. That is not exactly what I want to see for the young rookie, but yeah, there we go. Just happens. All right. Now, here we are, guys. First week, and I'm going to be cutting the episode now. We just handled a lot of things. Cut, and the team got to know the team played in uh, a uh, uh, preseason game. And uh, now it's time to cut the episode. See you next week when we're going to be playing the uh, New Orleans Saints. Or not next week, but next episode. And before I cannot stop my rambling, <laughs> I will be cutting this. See you next time.